Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Wash. Today is April 29th, and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. There's Washington, California. Check out the next storm system, the weather maker for California, the cool down. It's out here across the Pacific Ocean. It's going to move towards the coast of North America here, drop down right over the state of California as we go through the week coming up here. We'll take a look at those details and the extended forecast here in a moment. This is looking at the GOES-18 satellite imagery to Lake Tulare out there. Look at, you can see it very defined quite well here on the satellite imagery and this isn't going away anytime soon we got a lot of snow melt still coming off the sierra nevada it's going to add to this lake i have no idea when this is finally going to go away i assume it will after several months but we'll have to see how this goes you can see the persistent clouds across southern california all the way up through the bay area here pretty persistent today but it should burn back a bit as we go through the afternoon you can see some glorious sunshine across the central valley some of the desert areas and some high clouds going over the top of the state as we speak this is national weather service San San Diego, look at thermal, 105 versus Oceanside around 70 degrees. Big contrast between that marine layer along the immediate coastline there and the much warmer desert areas. Peak wind gusts here as we go through Sunday into Monday here. Some strong northwest winds across many of the water areas, coastal and over the higher terrain and desert regions. This is National Weather Service San Diego, and you can see they're talking about that cool down here coming Monday through Tuesday, and even some rain showers all the way down through Southern California cannot be ruled out. Great graphic here for planning your week ahead across Southern California. This is looking at surface temperature change, two hour, 24 hour differences, I should say. And as we go on in through tomorrow afternoon, look at the conditions start to change. 24 hour temperature differences approaching 20 plus degrees. And as we go through Monday, something similar here. In you know, for the entire state of California, you know, a lot of places 20 plus degrees below where you were 24 hours prior. This is looking at the apparent temperature, and I'm just going to kind of play this through, and you can kind of see these high temperatures don't bounce back near as much, only up towards 70 degrees there on Monday, maybe across some of the valley areas, maybe not even hitting 70. Go on on through Tuesday, you can see. That warm weather is going to be, you know, a wall here. We're going to have this trough right over the state here as we go through the week coming up here. And then another trough is going to try to set up here across the West Coast as well. well. We'll monitor that day by day, and I'll show you some more models on that here in a moment. This is looking at that weather maker. You can see the trough approaching the West Coast of North America settling down across California, and it just wants to spin here as we go through midweek coming up. Finally starts to kick off here, and it's replaced by another one off the coast here, and we'll see if that's going to bring precipitation. We'll monitor this system as we go day by day as well. This is looking at the European six-hour precipitation totals with sea level pressure, and here goes the big weather maker here, the big cool down. You know, there's going to be some snow at the higher terrain, precipitation for central northern California. It's also going to spread down across southern California as well. Potential multiple rounds of snowfall for some of the higher terrain on in through early May. And then the next system trying to spread some precip back into California the following weekend. So we'll watch that one closely and see where it uh, takes its target and see where it sets up as we go through the end of this week here. Coming up, plenty of time to look at that one. This is looking at the GFS, total precipitation in inches and you can see the low pressure just kind of spinning off the coastline here multiple rounds of precip continuing and we may continue that precipitation on in towards next weekend as well like some of these totals across the higher terrain of the sierra nevada northern california even southern california getting some decent precipitation amounts here on last night's gfs run this is looking at total snow 10 to 1 ratio this is yesterday afternoon's european run and you can see as we go on in through, you're starting in through Monday night into Tuesday, you see some of that snow accumulating across some of the higher terrain. We're not looking at several feet like we were with some of these storms as we went through a couple months ago. But, you know, we could add to some of the totals across the Sierra Nevada there. Maybe even a little bit, a couple inches there across some of the Southern California mountains here as well. This goes out 10 days. Nothing too crazy, but just showing you kind of the chilly upper level low hanging out here across the area. This is looking at Las Vegas. You can see Saturday, Sunday, then the eventual cool down starts on Monday and really dropping down here as we go through midweek with that upper level low in the area. Palm Springs, something similar there. Look at this big cool down from the 103, 101 down towards 80 degrees here as we go through midweek. 
So yeah, be prepared for that. Sacramento, big cool down coming as well. Maybe some highs only up towards 70 degrees as we go through the upcoming week. This is Palm Springs, some gusty winds out there. Nothing too crazy, but you could get some gusts up towards 45 miles per hour or so. This is Tonopah, just showing you kind of across some of the higher terrain, especially across Nevada, could get pretty gusty as well. This is looking at that snow water content. You can see we're on the downward decline here now as we start to melt that snowpack. Still record amount of snow water equivalent across some of the uh, southern Sierra Nevada here. Six to 10 day temperature outlook, just bullseyes California here. And this is the six to 10 day precipitation outlook through May 8th, really a big bullseye here on California as well with troughing in our general vicinity as we go on in through early May. So yeah, next weather maker is on its way here, folks. Big cool down coming, precipitation chances. There's even gonna be a thunderstorm threat or so as we go on in through next week as well. We'll look at this a little bit closer tomorrow also, and we'll try to pinpoint some more of where exactly is gonna get the most precipitation, what kind of snowfall we're gonna be dealing with and the thunderstorm chance as well so anyway hope you guys are having a good day out there you know enjoy that warm weather cool down is on its way and i will talk to you guys tomorrow